what's up guys today we're going to be redoing the upholstery on the bench seat for the F100 we're going to make it look go from this to this I'm going to show you how I do it so we're going to get started alright guys so here's the bench seat and as you can see I've already done the back of it because I wanted to get a little bit of practice in before I started filming this video this is the main part I'm going to be focused on right now this massive hole in the bottom section of the bench seat Alright, this is the hole we're going to start on, and what you want to do first is you want to take a knife or some scissors, and you want to snip off the old foam. Um, I don't know if this would be like this on your seat, but it's like this on mine. As you can see, all the old foam is don't want to look nice, and we're going to be putting new foam. Well, we're going to be patching in a piece of new foam here, and it'll be hard to work around this stuff. So what you want to do is just take your scissors or a knife. And it'll be pretty simple. We'll just cut it out to make it more of a square shape so it's easier to patch in the new piece. There we go. Take that off. Um, so, yeah, now you can see it's more of a square shape. So, it'll be a lot more easier to patch in the new foam. Alright, guys, so this next part's gonna be a little bit more of a challenge, but it's pretty simple. Um, I got this chunk of foam here. We just need to cut it out to make it fit and patch right into the spot. This phone's pretty thick, as you can see, compared to the other stuff. So I move, I'll have to just kind of carve it a little bit to the middle. But it should be the job. Now, one important thing to notice, you want to make sure that the foam on the old seat, when you're patching in like this, you got to make sure that the foam on the old seat and your new foam is the same consistency. Because you don't want some foam that's like really firm and then the rest of the seat's like extremely soft, because then you'll feel that. So you want something that's about the right consistency so that when you sit on it, you won't feel anything at all. Alright guys, we got the uh, foam cut out and put in place. Now what you want to do is just take some standard tape. And you just want to tape it and just to kind of hold it in place while you're working with it. And you don't have to try to fight that the whole time. Alright guys, now you want to get your cover and you want to stretch it over your seat. And something to keep in mind is you want to make sure that the grain is in line with the back. Make sure that's all lined up so that looks good when you get it all buckled down. Then what you want to do is take your pliers and your hog rings and you put them. You want to hook one end to the into the cover and then hook the other end underneath the seat somewhere. Put the hog ring inside the pliers and squeeze them shut. done. I'm really happy with how it turned out. It really looks good. Um, that's it for this video. I hope you got some nice tips on when you do your seat. Or I just hope you enjoyed the video. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and check out some of our other content. See you guys later.